Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to have a go at another challenge that Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters has got going for June. And the item we have to make is a mini scrap journal. And the materials we have to use um, are stamping, paint and embossing plus whatever else to make the item. So I think the stamping, paint and embossing I'm going to leave for the decoration part. Um, but I have got my scrap box here. Um, and it's just the scraps from my last projects in it. And so I'm going to be using that. Um, I think that'll be used mainly for decoration too, just with the scraps, uh, because I haven't got anything in there that is like thick enough that I want to use. But anyway, we'll see. So the other things I've got here, I have got some scrap tea dyed papers. These have been cut from a recent journal um, and just piece of white paper I don't know why I grabbed that so I grabbed that and these cards here they're like time cards I have one two three I've got five of those plus I've got some scrap manila folder that's been I'd say coffee dyed that I haven't used all of and I've got some other manila folder too, just in case I needed a bit more, but I'm not sure. I don't think I'll need that at all, but I'll put it just to the side of me. So the mini scrap journal, I thought I would start with these and do one of those, um, like one of those Somerset um, skinny journals, thin slender mini journals so I'm going to have to cut these that's three and a quarter inches wide so I'm going to cut that down to say two and a half and that's seven and a quarter long so if I just do it at three and a half one two, three, four, um, I'll just cut them at um, one notch over three and a half, which I'm, my brain's dead so I can't work it out. <laughs> right, I'll get my, my board here. So I'm going to cut the width of them at two and a half. Um, so put that on there. Two and a half and then three three and five eighths. Is that right? Let me just see. I'm going to cut that just to see. So I can get... Oh, look at that. A little bit different, but... I need to cut an eighth of that off, but that's okay. Right. So... I want them all the same height and width. Um, that'll be alright. Okay. So that measures, say, three and a half by two and a half, like um, an ATC size. Um, but it's not real slender, is it? Let me have a look. Let me just cut that down. I'm really just um, experimenting. Okay, that looks better to me. So they're going to be cut at two by three and a half, okay? So 
that's what I'm going to do. Cut them all at two and three and a half. That looks a lot slender to me than, <laughs> than what I've done just a minute ago. Okay, so I shall quickly do that. Might be able to cut two. Oh, they're not all cut the same um, width to start with, but that's okay. Okay, three and a half. And the last two here. I'm not sure I'm going to be using them all. Three and a half. Hmm. By two and a half. Oh, by two, didn't I? By two. Three and a half by two. I might just leave a couple of those up there. And I've also got some scrap calico here beside me. Um, my little off-cut pieces and what I've got left from other projects. So I'm going to be using that to put my pages together. see how I go with it all to make a mini scrap journal see they're not um, cut the same with some of those cards but that's okay just we've got them all the same now haven't we okay all right I might just keep a couple of those because I might need them later on put them up there Right, so I have my, these are going to be the bases for my pages and I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. So there's one, two, three, four, maybe five because I'm going to fold them concertina style alright that's okay and I've got one I've got five left if I muck up <laughs> I'm just being prepared guys okay so I don't need my phone near me so what I want to do, um, they're still they're not very sturdy. So what I was thinking of was backing them onto some uh, coffee dyed paper. That'd be okay, wouldn't it? So with these, um, I'm just going to glue those straight on there and then I can just cut them out. Okay, so I'm just going to use... Uh, do I want to put this on first though? Under, at the back of them. I think... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to do that a bit different. Alright, I've had a bit of a think. So I'm going to actually join these together first. So I've got I've got quite a few little scrappy bits here that I can use to join my pages together. So that's there. I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch might do the backs first okay so I'm just going to turn them all over right and I will need one two three four four pieces of my calico one two three 
that one long enough? No. Nope. One, two, that's long enough. So if I can just cut and rip a bit of this. Um, I suppose I've got it about a, an inch wide. Okay. There. And I'll just cut this one down a bit. Or rip it, I should say. And that one there. Okay, so this one here, I can just trim down. I'm just going to cut it. So that's going to go there. And this one... I just need to trim that down a little bit too. Okay. I can fray those edges up real easy. Alright, okay. So, and I'll also, well, I'll need it for the other side as well. Oh, what did I do with that? There it is. So, I will need, how's, oh look, that length there will be pretty good. I wonder if I can get four out of that. One, two, yep, three, four, okay. So this, I'll put these away before I mix them up. One, two, three, four. Leave that one over there. Okay, so I've got four for the front and four for the back. I'm pretty sure you've seen you know, the, the slender journals, the Somerset ones. Um, so this is just going to be my version of being inspired by that. Um, now, the glue. Uh, I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch gap between each of the panels. Um, I might just use a glue stick because I do want to uh, sew around it as well with the machine. So I'm just going to put some glue there and there and that's mainly just to hold the, the fabric on. I moved that a bit didn't I? And I got glue on my table, but that's okay. I'll fix that up. Okay, and then I don't know if that's going to stick on there. Yep, it will. Okay, so there's that one done. Now we'll just. That one looks a little bit shorter. Let me grab another one. Make sure it's up the right way, bet and I. Oh, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be decorating them anyway. Okay, so we've got that one. Put a bit of glue there. Alright, make sure I've got a an eighth of an inch gap. And lay that on there. Okay. So that's two done. That one there is just a little bit too far over, so I'm going to bring that down a bit. Okay, yep, that looks good. Okay, so there's that, that, now this one. And I was just thinking maybe I should have went and inked my edges. But I don't think you're really going to notice it that much at these these joins. So we'll put that one there. And the last one here. Where's this one? Whoops. Right, just make sure that's 
lined up. I don't want it too crooked. Right there. Oh, and I moved it again. Come on, there. Ugh. Right. There's always one that's going to give you a bit of a hard time, isn't there? Okay, and that one goes there. Okay, so let's have a look at that, and I hope I've got them up the right way. Yep. Okay, so I've got those on there. Now, to finish off the back here, I'm going to use some of the coffee dyed um, manila folder. So I'm, go I'm actually going to cut that, I think, the same size. Yeah. So I'll need this cut at two inches. Okay, two inches. And I'll cut another one, two inches. And then three and a half. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it at three and a half. So I'll just check the um, the size for this. Oh, yep. Look, that's going to fit on there. Perfect. Okay. So three and a half. So that's two. Three and a half, and three and a half. So that's one, two, three, four. I need one more. So I'll use this here. Um, that needs to be cut straight because it was crooked. Okay, so I will cut that at three and a half. Okay, and cut that at two. Get that piece there because I like those um that splotchy coffee on that on the back of that. Okay, so they're my five panels for the back so they're going to go on there like that um, but what I might do first is actually just give uh, give those an inking I don't get to see I think I would I don't know I don't want to see that I was just thinking maybe I should have um, put these on before now so that you could see some of that calico but I don't care it, it, I think um, I don't I don't actually don't mind not having that all showing because you've got more room on the back here for journaling haven't you so, I think it's time I got a new sponge Okay, so they're my back panels. Now, I am going to be sewing around each individual panel. Um, so what I might do is just... Um, I want those down so they don't move around. And I might just use some double-sided tape, I think. That might be the go. Just to hold them um, so that it's easier for me to, to sew around them. So I'm just going to put some in the centre of each of these panels. Oh, have I got the camera on? Oh, I have too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay. So let's 
let's just um, tack these down. There we go. So there's that one. Make sure I've got a left enough room. Okay. All right. There's that one. Does that look crooked? No, I've just there's a bit of a gap there. That's okay. Let me put that over to this side. Okay, now why does that, because I've got that too far over, haven't I? Just going to rip that one back up. That is sticky double-sided tape, I'll tell you. Right, and just come over a fraction. Right, that's better. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, I'm going to put, I was going to sew them, but I don't want to sew them yet. I'm going to just put these ones here on the front, I think. I don't know if I'd need it on the front after I'd sewn them. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to leave them off. I am going to go. I'm going to go and sew right around each of these little panels, okay? And then I shall be back, guys. I just want to see what it looks like um, because once they're sewn, um, once they're sewn together, I don't actually think that I'd need the calico on the front and that'll leave me more room to decorate the front of these and then the back will be room for journaling and why is that one over so far right. okay so I'm gonna go and sew around each panel and I'll come back okay I have stitched around each of my panels and that's made them a lot sturdier um, so I really should have inked around the front of these first because it's just me so I'm gonna do that now just put some ink around each of the panels so I can just fold that there and go down the center as well There we go. Okay, yes, much better. I like that much better. Maybe just darken that up a bit too. There we go. Okay, I like that so much better. Alright, and I don't think I'm going to actually need... Um, to put one of these on the inside I think you just really need them you need it on one side or the other just to hold your pages together so this is going to be my front and then it's just going to concertina up like that into a little mini journal oh how cute okay I like that idea and these ones here I shall keep one, two, three, four for the other spare one. So I'll end up doing another one too. And um, to back mine, I was actually um, I was thinking of using my scrap tea dyed papers, but I think the the manila folder that I'd coffee dyed it just made it a lot sturdier so if you haven't got you know a manila folder um, you can just back your pages with tea dyed or coffee dyed paper 
um, and I kind of like the card these cards were like a thin cardboard so it's um, good if you just make it a little bit sturdier all right so this one here is going to be my front page and all I'm going to do now is do some kind of decorating on it but I'm going to leave it out like this um, and I'll just go through my scrappy papers because I really don't know what whether I'm going to theme it or not so um, a bit of music sheets always handy and so is some tissue paper from a sewing machine and this one here I like that and I like these ones too okay might, um, might have a go at these they're both the same oh, if there's a smaller piece there mm. and we've got some smaller ones here too What's this and also some dictionary page and I'll grab those out there okay well I think I've got enough for the moment um, just have a, a quick look that put a number 48 there okay got a strip all right I think that that will actually do me to the top oh, what are foxies wait there foxies what are they doing in there I have no idea okay but I do like that image there Maybe that can go on my front, on my front cover. They're not supposed to be in there. Register of the Centennial Expe Expedition. I've got a couple of little scrap bits. Okay, and they're not supposed to be in there either. Okay, so I've got some some flowers. And butterflies might grab some of that some of that I know I always grab out way too much um, of stuff to embellish things with and there's a scrappy music sheet Okay, so that'll do me, I think, for the time being. I've grabbed out a heap of things here. And I don't think I'm going to need it all, but we'll just see. And I've got this book here. So the idea of it is to, to decorate this up. Um, now, there were numbers up the top here. So... I think that could be stamping or maybe stenciling because I've got a stencil. Um, I have a. Um, what do I have? Uh, I can put some of these on the back, can't I? Clear stamps. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So, I've got heaps of things. Stamp. I'll just put them over there for the time being. Put that one there. Now, what I might do first, I have this, um, the numbers uh, from the Tim Holtz collection. 
and I want to put some numbers just up the top here if I remember rightly um, like I, I have been inspired by um, the Somerset magazine and the video I, wa I watched was from Creative Cafe I think her name her her um, her YouTube name was so what I might do um, I'm going to mask off these numbers here because I don't want to I want I want nice clear crisp numbers or sort of I don't want to actually um, get the numbers that are below it or that one there I think okay this way all right so I've just masked 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 <laughs> masked I can't say that word oh my goodness sorry guys okay so I'm gonna just put that there right there and I'm going to use my my dabber and my ink like I could have used paint but mm, I don't know we'll just see how that goes oh I like that okay so I've got that one and I'm going to make them different so I put that down there and then move this one across and just get those ones okay it might um, might be a bit might be a bit noisy in my background today guys the um, they're really coming along with building that the complex next door they've got uh, the great big foundation box going in wow they are huge okay oh cool I like that so then we'll do another lot down here Just do the eight one five. Oh no, we'll go down there. No, eight one five. I need just another little bit just to mask that two off there. Okay, cool. Right, so we'll put this here. And I think this, the numbers were one thing I remembered. And for the life of me now, I can't remember anything else. But I think it's just a matter of decorating it. And when you decorate something, you just decorate it in your own, um, in your own style, don't you? Right, so just oops, mask that, and we'll come down there. So now that I'm getting down to that second row, I need one up the top, don't I? There. Okay, so I'll put these numbers on this one. Okay, oh that looks so cool. And on the front one too I think. So the two one eight, I think I will do. Okay. 
there, there, and there. Okay, so this one actually is going to be my front cover here. I just keep saying that because I'm reminding myself mainly. <laughs> okay, 218. All right, okay, so <clears throat> I would actually classify that as stamping anyway. Right, so now it's just a matter. Oh, hang on, I might do these while I've still got that out. Um, do I want to stamp some like lines on the back of these? Mm. Uh, I'm not really sure now. Okay, I might just leave that go for the time being. And decorate, decorate, decorate. Okay, so so I don't get too overwhelmed I'm going to start with this one first and this is my front page so on my front page I would like some kind of um, little imagey thing maybe some of this maybe something like that let me snip a bit of that off Just cut that there. And maybe cut that in half and I could use that for another panel. Couldn't I? Okay, so I've got a bit of a bit of that. Um, I want some kind of image on there. I think they used uh, faces, uh, ladies or something. So I might just, I don't know. That looks nice. I like that little one. So I might just snip that out. bit crooked. That's better. Okay, so we've got that and that, maybe something else. I um oh I've got my cheesecloth. I did grab a few scrappy bits of um fabric and things. Maybe a little bit of tape measure. Oh and I've got these two as well. So I might cut a little bit of cheesecloth to put behind the the image. If I can get one strand thing of it. Okay, let's just cut this down. Okay, so we've got that an image and a bit of cheesecloth just there like that somehow and I had what else oh and I've got these little someone sent these to me little crocheted um, flowers that I could just put on the front of there Okay, I, I do like that, but I do want to add just something else to this little image. So I think I might um, just stitch around that image. Just put a, a stitch around there. Oh, I wobbled my hit my light. One, two, three. Okay, so I did a little bit of sewing around that little flower image okay and not sure if I want a little bit of this on there so 
something a bit different. Hmm. Have a look. I sometimes I do find that this is the hardest thing for me to do, which is like the decorating because I can just change my mind so many times but I do like the look of that and what I think down the bottom um, I've got my some of these labels here that I haven't put away yet so maybe put a label on there I like them all but do I want to give one with a like a little pop of colour? Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Okay, I think I like that with that little sign there. Okay, so I shall do that. All right, and yeah, I'll do that. I won't worry about that flower. So to glue these down with, I'll just put that to the side. So just to glue that on with, I shall use a glue stick. Oh, look at that, that's disgusting, Wendy. Okay, so I'll put a bit of glue here. Actually, I might turn that up and I'll leave it out that way. Okay, so I've got that on, and I'll grab this glue here, which I haven't used for a while because it comes out so fast. And we'll put this on. Which I think goes, I don't know, roughly about there. I have to check, have a quick check. No, move it over a bit. I don't know, we'll move that over a bit. Okay. And just... that down to hold that on and put some on the back of here and that can go just there I really need to go and get um, some paper towel I'm having a, um, a spazzy tack with the glue today <laughs> on my fingers. <laughs> um, I might just darken this edge up a bit more. Okay, and put a bit of glue there. go just about there and this little saying uh, now this was a free downloadable printable and I will have to go through through my computer to see in my history to see where it came from so I'll try and remember to do that, but I don't know if I will remember or not. Okay, so, oh cool, I like that. Oh, and I just wobbled it. Right, just leave it there to dry. Okay, so that's actually the first page for my little mini journal. Okay, so that's going to come out like that. Oh, I like that. 
All right. Um, I shall be back guys. I'm going to go and get paper towel and just wash my hands because mm, I get this really uh, feeling when I get glue on my hands and I just, I can't describe it but I kind of like go a little bit psycho until I get it off. Okay, I shall be back guys. Uh, just before I start going um, on finishing decorating this, I just wanted to let you know where I got the little sayings from. They are quotes and inspirational sayings designed by Dreamy MM and I think you need to, that's her blog, so if you type in Dreamy MM blog spot or something like that and it was a free downloadable kit where you got some tags and quite a lot of um, inspirational quotes and sayings okay all different sizes so thank you for that um, I can't remember what her real name was I'm sorry guys but that's the name of her blog anyway so I just thought I'd mention that now before I continued on and I can open that up now um, and just carry on so I've got some textbook page god they got some big trucks out there today um, maybe a bit of music sheet or something I've got these images here that I don't know if I want to rip up and put on there or not. I think I do actually. Let's get a bit of a little bit of colour or something in there as well. So what I'm doing now is just, you know, having a really little bit of a play. Um, and just kind of like putting things down where I think they look nice. I haven't got anything on there yet, have I? And I do like to, I've got a couple of other little things here. Um, no, I don't want that lady on there. You don't find the happy life, you make it. Maybe I can cut that up as well. Go your own way. And some, what are these? Oh, they're dictionary. Um, quotes. I don't think I want those on there. Um, and they're all too big. So what else have I got here? Maybe cut a bit of one of these ones up. Put a little image on it. Maybe this one here. I do, look I think I might use these, I've had these for a while and they've just been sitting here really not doing anything. So I'm going to cut a piece off. It doesn't look real straight, I'm hopeless at cutting straight with the scissors. I think it takes a lot of practice. Okay, so I might move that one up to here and put that one down there. Um, what else have I got? A little bit check paper.
Okay, now I like that one. Now this one, and I can handle that there. Um, I will put a bit of calico behind those though. Uh, not calico, um, cheesecloth. So I'll cut just a little bit there. Okay, so that's going to go behind that one. And that can go behind that one. Okay, so that looks okay. Now what's this? Maybe cut that down a bit. This was a, just a little scrappy piece of something. That can go there. Um, this one here, uh, I might put a pocket on that one I think. Why not? Let me just take those bits off and use something for a pocket. That might be alright. It's a little scrappy piece. It's a bit too high though. So I might cut it off just about there. Okay. And fold those edges over. So that's going to go there, and about there. How does that look? Yeah, that'll do. Just there. So I'll just trim those down there because I don't need all of that on there. Okay, so that's going to be little pocket and might, how do I want to decorate that? I'll put a bit of that on there. With something else. I might just ink that first. Ink around the edges. Okay, that there, a little bit of fabric of what something, and um, maybe butterfly, yeah why not, a little butterfly, or the big butterfly, maybe the big butterfly. So I'll just quickly cut my butterfly out of here. I have my butterfly cut out, so that one can go there. Um, I don't know what else. I really don't think I've used up much scrap paper. <laughs> oh well, that happens, doesn't it? Um, I've got this little. Let me cut a piece of that off, I think. Yeah, why not? I'll just cut it up there. And put that under there. And I want something to go there. <coughs> Maybe that butterfly. Yes, why not? I like butterflies. What do I do with my little scissors, guys? Oh, there they are. Okay, so I'll just quickly cut this one out. And that little butterfly there. And that's a little scrappy piece I can use somewhere. 
Hmm. I don't know. All right. Uh, I do want to put a couple of little sayings on here. So, just simply live. Creativity takes courage. I like that one. And details create the big picture. What else have we got? Um, I've got that one. Details create the big picture. Maybe that. That's that's a bit of scrap too. That number, not scrap. It's left over from somewhere. So, um, okay. Well, I, I like how that's how that is at the moment. So, what I might do. I am going, these little images I've got here, I am going to go and stitch around them because I do like that look of that stitched around the image. So I'll do that now and then I shall come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did a stitch around those little images there and I also inked the edges. And I'm just thinking that I might add just a piece of this somewhere as well so that I can use it up a bit maybe that across the bottom there okay that'll do uh, I was just thinking you don't really use that much um, scrap scrap paper for this uh, but you know oh well <laughs> tis what it is Okay, so now I can just go and glue these all down if I remember where they're going to go. Little butterfly there. I didn't put any cheesecloth under that one. Oh, I put the fabric, didn't I? ink around this little number. I'm not sure where this come from. Um, oh, it was one of the, um, the Tim Holtz papers, I think. Oh, I can't have it go. You can't have anything go over the edge of your paper. So, and I'm, I think I might just glue, um, I might just glue the bottom and this side down. A little saying. I might put another um, label on there. I think I called these tags before, but they're labels. Just put this little saying. This is says, details create the big picture, which is from Sanford I Wheel. And this one here, this little saying says, creativity something. <laughs> Creativity takes courage, and that is from Henri Matisse. Okay, so I'm going to put that one just there. I was going to put it down the bottom, but I think I might put this one up the top. Just for something different. Okay, so that's going to go right there. Okay, I need to let that dry. <laughs> Louie gluey. And so that's that side done. And I really, really like how that turned out. So it's going to fold up just like that. Um, but I don't want it folded up yet because it's still very 
wet tacky glue. Um, I do want to do something on this side here and what I might do on the back I might do the what did I have to use um, stamping or oh, stamping paint and embossing so what I might do on the back here just to put a little bit of decoration on I might do some stamping and embossing on the back but I will wait until this dries a bit first before I turn it over and start doing that oh I need the tag don't I so what I could do I've got a, a bit of scrap paper here without even worrying about it too much whether they're even or not. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Okay, and I've got a, my little one-eighth of an inch hole punch here, which I put on the back so I can see where it's going to punch a hole, and I've done it crooked, but that's okay. I was bound to get something crooked. Um, now what can I put on, maybe that saying, go your own way, I do like that, yep, why not, okay, go your own way, and we'll ink around that, shot guys, yep, Okay, so I've got that there. Go your own way. And we'll just glue that on. Like that. And I might actually stitch around that. So okay. with this one I just stitched uh, around the same and not right around the outside because then I've got that on the back so what I might do is just grab a where's that what do I do with the um oh is that long enough no what do I do with the coffee dyed papers does anyone know oh here they are oh tea dyed papers so I might just glue that onto some tea dyed paper for the back. And stitch around the outside, right around the outside, and that's just given it a plain surface to journal okay. on. I've done a little zigzag stitch around that. Okay, let me tidy up here a bit. I need to pop that hole again. Which I'm not sure if I'm going to line that up as properly as I did before, but that's okay. Yep, that'll do. And that's going to be a little tag in there. So Okay, um, I'm still waiting for this to dry, especially that panel there where I've really put a lot of glue on it. <laughs> okay, so I shall be back guys to show you what I'm going to do on the other side. I'm back guys, that's all nice and dry and I did add a bit of ribbon to my little tag there while I was off camera as well. So I'm going to flip that over, um, just got to make sure that one there's the back. So that's the back there and I actually thought that I might put that little saying on that I cut up. You don't find the happy life you make it, just that there. But I'm going to do some of this stamping now and embossing, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, I said hopefully. Um, 
this isn't going to stay on there so I'm just going to grab a little bit of double sided tape put it on my block and then stick that just there um, and also what was I just thinking oh I just I had a thought go through my head then but I just don't remember what it was mm. okay well hopefully it'll come to me in a minute all right and I've also got my a script stamp that I'm just going to put a little bit of embossing on here as well and I still haven't made up my mind I might if I put gold on or I might use the metallic it's a bit darker um, oh I know that what it was I had to plug my heat tool in <laughs> my heat gun in okay I've just remembered uh, because I don't have enough power points in here so I gotta switch one power point for my heat gun and my sewing machine all right so I've got my heat tool there now I want to try and do which way does this go up I must go that way I think or does it go that way no it goes that way all right so I'm gonna put a little bit of um, what will I do first? Okay, maybe this one. I'll put the flower maybe over the corner, corners somewhere, and see how I go. So, put a little bit there. And maybe there. And I'm going to try and do this quickly so I can do the whole lot at once hopefully we'll see we'll see if that works I've just got to remember where they where it goes I spilled it already um, I don't think that worked it wasn't juicy enough oh well I'll just keep going Okay, we'll see how that is. If I've picked up any any of it. Oh yep. Yeah. Well, sort of. And yeah, that looks alright. Alright, I'll just put that up there and put this back in before it goes everywhere. Oh. either. Whoops. Right, I'm just going to grab one of my brushes and just get this off here, around there. I don't have a um, one of the powder puff things. Okay, that looks all right. Now I'll do the same with the script stamp, hopefully. I spilt that everywhere. <laughs> of course I did. Okay. All right, I'll put a bit there. All right, and see how that goes. again oh that looks so cool I like that this 
stuff just fits everywhere. That's so fine. Okay, I might as well turn that over. Have a look at this. And I think that looks pretty good. Just brushing off just a few of the little dust pieces. Okay. Right. Okay, heat bell. Close that up before I blow it everywhere. Heat gun time. Alright, oh I like it. Um, this flower here, I didn't have enough um, of the embossing ink on it, so it didn't really take that well, but I'm just going to leave that as is. But oh, that looks so cool. So what I want to do now, um, that's the front and this is the back panel here. So I am going to put these words down. Just so that I've got something on the back panel and it's not just um, plain when I fold it up. Okay, I like that being on there. So I'm just going to glue those down. them down and get rid of some of that excess glue. And what I could have done, I could have put a little tie in between my two panel um, layers, but I didn't think of it. So I think I might just leave that. Um, now, I was thinking maybe a couple of lines on that. So I've got these ones here. Um, oops, that one. That's a round one, that won't fit on there. So let's, I'll use this one here. Okay, um, I need to clean those two there. And what I'll do, I'll just rip this in half, so I can just cover up the side panels and ink. I might, let's go black. It's going to be too much if I use the black stays on. No, I don't think it will, but I don't actually want that. So I'm just going to try and get the. Um, let me pull that over a bit. I don't mind if it doesn't come out perfect. Okay. And I'll just cover that there. And go there. And then there. And move 
move that one over there a bit. And there. Okay, let me have a look at that. Oh, that looks alright, doesn't it? That looks pretty cool. So, when you do some journaling, you can just write um, on the back there. But I won't do it on all. I'll just do it on these two here and leave those ones there for, I don't know, something else. If you want to put something else on there, like an image or something. Okay. So I'll move that over. That can go there. How far down does that go? Oh, that'll be right, I think. And I think I just want to do that and just put another, oops, another little bit up. Put that other little one just down here. There. Oh yes, I like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so I think the only thing I haven't used is paint. Oh, I like it. I really do like that. You don't find the happy happy life, you make it. And I really like that embossing on there too. That is so cool. Right, so just to finish this off, I need some kind of little tie around it. Um... So what I think, how wide, how long is that? That might do. I'm just going to rip a bit of this calico and see how that goes. Okay, get the extra strands off it. And you can just tie that up like that. tied in a knot or a little knot not a tight knot we'll just tie it like that okay so that's it guys that's my my mini Slender scrap journal. Oh, that is so cute. I like that. That turned out really lovely. Uh, I don't think I didn't really use that many scrap papers, but you know, oh well. Okay. Oh, that looks lovely. And you can also just flip it open like this. You can write, put a picture, a bit more writing and another picture. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're going to make one yourself. Put a picture up on, I don't know, Facebook or Instagram or something and tag me in it so I can see. Okay, so thanks guys. That's it. All done. That's my challenge. I have got these ones left over, so I will um, make another one, and you'll be able to see that on Facebook or something like that. Um, with these ones here, I might actually put a bit of paint on them and see how those ones go. But yeah, I didn't use paint. Sorry, Nat, I didn't use paint. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. 
each to their own. I'm happy with what I've done. And that's the main thing, isn't it? Mm, what I could have done um, in, with the numbers up the top, I could have used paint to actually um, put the numbers on. I might do that with the next one. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed that. Um, and it looks so cool. My little mini slender scrap journal. Okay, <laughs> thanks guys. You have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.